everyone, and welcome back to NFL Playoff Pick'em. I'm your host, Jake Biggie Mills, and I'm back with EJ the Cobra Samuel. Yes, we're back. We're going to beat the lag allegations. Yes. 5G. Yes, we are. I am I am on data. 5G. It ain't me. Not me, I promise you. Beating the lag allegations today. Yes. And also right. a very uh, right. upsetting Super Bowl. I agree. Before like, we even get into this, this is going to be really bad. I'm not looking forward to this at all. This is so stupid. It's so dumb. It's like, come on. Now, okay, the Chiefs are becoming the Patriots, and the 49ers were just like, it's not that I don't like the 49ers. Right. But Dan Campbell, though. Mm, I wanted If him. they were playing like any other team, like I would even say that even if they were playing like a team that also hasn't made it that far, like – you know, like Seattle or or I would even, I don't know, go as far as to say the maybe, I don't know, not the Rams. That's a bad example, but like a team that hasn't done much. Yeah, no, just I like agree. the Lions. Was... Right. Like, but it, the Lions, though, <laughs> we were so close, guys. We were so close. Oh, it's so upsetting. It's so, so upsetting. I, I even had my Matt Stafford Lions jersey ready. Really? To go, but... Oh, so you were ready to go. I was ready to go, but it it's all right. All right. But anyway, so let's get into last week's picks. Let's have a look. So right now, there is a four-way tie for second place. So me, you, your brother Isaiah, and Jake Jones are all tied at six and six. Um, Kayla, unfortunately. Love you, Kayla, but you are in last, unfortunately. Uh, and Zach Valeski is in first right now at seven and five. Okay. So – uh, me and you both got the Super Bowl wrong. We both picked Ravens Lions, put us in yeah. six and six. Kayla got one and one right. She picked the 49ers uh, to beat the Lions, but she got the Ravens and Chiefs wrong. And yeah. then your brother is the only one who actually got the Super Bowl pick right. He picked the Chiefs and the 49ers to both win. Well, I uh we let emotions get the best of us, Jake. And we yeah. picked what we wanted to happen instead of what actually happened. Yeah, we did. We did. And then Jake Jones got it wrong. He picked Ravens Lions, and then Zach Valeski went one and one, picking the Chiefs over the Ravens, but not he. But the Lions, he picked the Lions over the Forty ers Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's right. last week. So for the people not on the show, here's their picks. Uh, Kayla picked the 49ers to win 24-21. We're doing scores for this one for tiebreaker purposes. Um, Isaiah, your brother, picked 24-17 Chiefs. Jake Jones, 24-21 San Francisco, and Zach. He took Valeski, the Chiefs. Yeah. My brother took the Chiefs. Yeah. If I could check on that again. Hey, Dale, check, check that again real quick. Check that again. My brother was talking so much garbage on the Chiefs all week. Did he switch up? Hold on. I want to see if my brother can stay with what he was saying. No, he didn't, actually. It's 24-17 uh, uh, 49ers. My bad. Niners. Okay. So say because he was talking so much garbage right now. Yeah, on, so we on have 49ers Chiefs. down the line. I apologize, Isaiah. Did not mean to sabotage you there. I'm I'm so sorry. I misread. Now nah, you're uh, good. Now you're good. He deserves it. <laughs> but yeah, All so right. everyone has the 49ers down the board. So interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's uh let's let's start talking about this game. I want you to go first, DJ. You can go first. Okay, look at look at so Guys, we are here. It wasn't exactly what we wanted, but we're here. And nonetheless, we got to play the cards that were uh, that were dealt with. Uh, two teams that, well, made for not that great of a Super Bowl, but a Super Bowl that should prove to be, I don't know, highly offensive, which is weird. Uh, because we were talking about this entire show, Jake, how the Chiefs were they they if they got here that they would have probably gotten here because of their defense. Right. I don't right. see that being the case. And the Niners defense is pretty potent and, and decent. I just think this is gonna be the story of two offenses, two uh quarterbacks going toe to toe. Right. It's either the Chiefs becoming the New England Patriots by winning the Super Bowl and now continuing to do a dynasty, which is so stupid, if you ask me. Or Brock Purdy uh, playing the upset card and being the Nick Foles in this dynasty. Yeah, dude, that would honestly, um, that would be nice to see. I'm not going to lie. It would be nice to see. 
Um, now we've let we've learned our lesson between you and I. We yeah. picked who we want to win a lot of the time. More and than who we, who actually in reality is going to win. Yes. Um, now, my gut tells me that I want the – and I'm sorry for blanking her, but I want to make sure that I'm very, very careful with my words. My mind and gut tells me the Chiefs will probably win the Super Bowl. Wait, I'm not picking them. Okay, all right. I'm getting the pencil yeah. ready, though. I'm getting ready. Let's be real, folks. Uh, this is Patrick Mahomes. This is Travis Kelsey, and it's uh, a blonde-haired girl in the box pulling the strings. Uh, <laughs> not that it's really her fault. She's supporting her man. Yes. But it's good for business. I'm, I'm not saying the NFL's rigged. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's been some coincidences, but I'm saying it's. I'm not saying it's rigged. Right. But I'm going to tell you that the uh, – it does look good on paper, especially a bank statement. Uh, but you know what? Uh, on the other side of the ball, Brock Purdy can't argue with Brock Purdy. Can't argue with Christian McCaffrey, who's very a very good running back, one of the best in the league, if not the best in the league, right. playing against a team in the Chiefs who struggled to stop the run and didn't play a strong running team all year and still struggled. Now right. they're going to have to play McCaffrey, mm-hmm. uh, plus Brandon Ayuk and, and Debo if he's up and healthy. And I don't even know where he's at right now. I'm hoping he's healthy. We've got George Kittle, so it should be solid. Um, all in all, defenses are going to be doing their thing. Right. They're NFL defenses. They're all Super Bowl caliber defenses, whether we like it or not. Uh, you've got your Bosa's. You've got your Chris Jones, depending on what side. Right. Um. But I think, really, the 49ers uh, have a, a, the best shot. So I guess what I'm going to have to say is oh, I lost a bet. That's why I have this jersey. Oh, Brock my Purdy, God. Because I work at a radio station, and I don't want to hear about Taylor Swift anymore. <laughs> oh and because God. Fish Boy, our night show guy at KRZ, is a big Niners fan, and I made a bet with him, and that's why I have this. Brock Purdy, I'm trusting you. Ooh. It's kind of like the save me, not to be political, but the save me Donald Trump thing at the with the truck. Have you oh, seen yeah. that video? That yeah, video yeah, like the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Save me, Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy, <laughs> if you can hear us. Save me. Save, us, save Brock me, Purdy. please. Save me, Brock. I need it. I need it. It's killing me. <laughs> you go What's back the final to score here for you. I'm going to take the 49ers. Give me a 27 to 24 thriller. Again, right. I would not be surprised if the Chiefs win it because it's just too convenient. Right, right. I know what you mean. But the 49ers are also the best team in the league, whether they exactly. lost to Baltimore or not. They I were agree. the best team in the league all year. And I could tell you from week one when they killed the Steelers. Um, the Steelers weren't bad, folks. They just – they had some issues that the 49ers didn't have issues. Right, right. I could see it from the beginning. In fact, Chewy, shout out Chewy, Froggy 101, said the 49ers are the best team in the league and they will make the Super Bowl. And I didn't believe him. And Brock Purdy, you know? save us. <laughs> Please. Save us, Brock Purdy. He's our only hope. I got an IC light ready for the moment that you win the Super Bowl. <laughs> We're going to party like it's. 1999 or oh my god he was probably a baby awesome. at that point that's awesome. whatever all right so i'm gonna talk about the game now i want to pick ahead. the 49ers I, I really do like all the reasonings you gave i personally think i just don't know because i've been saying this the whole playoff i don't think I, I i picked the chiefs to lose a lot i don't think they're that good of a team you know what i'm saying like i don't yeah. i don't think they're that good but They've been playing really well for how – for I don't know. I don't want to say they're not a talented team because they are. Have they, though? But that's the thing. Like, that's Have they, I, though? Have they? That's what I'm saying. Did I you watch know. that Baltimore game? That's what I'm saying. Like, after that game, I can't pick that. But, like, you could also make the case for the 49ers, too. It took them a while to come back onto the Lions like that. Yeah, it took them a little bit. But you know what else, you know what else though? I think it's different for as far as the Chiefs' circumstances, and I'm not trying to be a hater, really, before right. anyone goes out there and goes, oh, you're hating on the Chiefs because you don't. 
No, listen, there's a difference between the circumstances. The 49ers got their butts in gear and had to do the work to come back. Right. The Chiefs won because Lamar made key mistakes in the offensive line of the Ravens. The Chiefs didn't win. The Ravens lost. Right. Be completely be real with yourself. I don't care right. who you're rooting for. I don't care if you're a Chiefs fan. I don't care if you're a Ravens fan. I'm a Steelers fan. Okay. I'm an okay. Eagle. I'll be right. And I'm sure we've got a bunch of different fan bases on here. Oh, of course. No matter what, you're lying to yourself. The Ravens lost that game. I was a Steeler fan. I chose this, the Ravens to I know. win that yeah. game. I know. I, there's no bias here. The Ravens lost that game. I thought, if anything, that was Lamar's best chance to win a Super Bowl. Right. The Chiefs did not win that game. They did not. The Ravens lost that game by making poor mistakes in the second half, especially. All right. I, 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 that's, I what happened. that's the, the thing. 49ers had to come back and put effort in. And that's why, that's why I'm like kind of stuck in between, but I, I, the chiefs, they've been playing well, but I still think, I think the 49ers are better and it would be a great story. I know everyone's talking about the Taylor Swift thing with Travis Kelsey. It'd be a huge thing, but Rock. How how good of a story is it for Mr. Irrelevant to win the Super Bowl in his second year? Exactly. How good of a story is that, right? Exactly. And to play the upsetter, could you imagine that the, not that the NFL is scripted again? Because people no. people get on my case about this and they you, you think the NFL is scripted. No, it's right. not. I, I know. I know. There's there's things that happen. I'm mean, no doubt in my mind, but it's not necessarily scripted. That's not that's not Mark going to that extreme either. Think about this one. Okay. What if the NFL was leading us on with the Ooh, the Chiefs are the next dynasty. Psych, right. and Brock Purdy bursts on the scene, and this is number one of like four or five for him. Right. Yeah, you watch; it's possible because let me tell you something. They happened to do that with a man named uh, I don't know Terry Bradshaw mm. back in the day. Back they in the benched day. Terry Bradshaw the year that they won the Steelers for, won their first Super Bowl, and the Steelers pulled on like Jesus Christ superstar. <laughs> he just pulled right. right up and he was just like hi my name is terry bradshaw i got benched the, and the nfl has done this before they did it with lawrence taylor lawrence taylor came out he was highly coveted he was not that great to start and then he just blew up in the giants they thought oh the cowboys are gonna rule the right early 90s and yeah right it's happened yep jake you're 100 percent right and here's the thing that's why and that's that's on, on ultimately why i'm taking the 49ers Give me the 49ers, 24 to 17. Okay. I, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I got you. Yeah. So everyone's got the 49ers. Everyone's, everyone's got, got the Niners. And so we if got, the Chiefs I win, agree. it's just a just dead. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's a dead flat out thing. Everything kind of stays the same. It's just whoever got the closest final score for second place. And we have, by the way, me and Isaiah both have twenty four seventeen. So we got to figure out a way to break that. Did you get a game? Who got more games right previously? That's that's what I'm thinking. That's oh, right. that's what you're tied. That's what you're tied on. We're di- yeah, we're tied at six and six, and the tiebreaker is the final score. Yeah, I think you should just go by difference of games. We'll figure it out down the road. That's yeah, not we a, will. we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's kind of not an on here conversation. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But yeah, so that's gonna wrap this up. This is a quick one, just because it's just the Super Bowl, and we're all excited and all eager for it. It's gonna be a great. I'm not night. excited. I'm, dude, I'm more excited for Usher. <laughs> and I don't even like, dude. Usher here's hasn't been. I haven't heard of Usher since I was six. <laughs> but here's the thing: it's still the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? It is still the Super Bowl. I get to eat pizza. Game. You know, you still get everything. So yeah, everyone's looking to forward to that. Watch. Maybe not the game itself, but just the event. You know? I'm going down to Sabatini's and getting some icy light and coming home. There you so, go. That's the way to yeah. do it. That's the way to do it. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I don't want to end this episode on a bad note. Hold on. <laughs> I got to do this. I've, I've, I've sinned against Myron Cope, so I think I just need to always end on a positive note. That's what my coach, that's what my baseball coach said. Just really? Need to end. Always on a positive note if you possibly can. You don't ever want to end on a miss. That's why right. when I take batting practice, I pay – sometimes I pay in the quarter machine if I, like, swing and miss. I pay in the quarter machine to get extra pitches so that that's, I can't end on a swing and a miss. That's it. You so we're going to end on a miss. 
Got to end go. on a positive note, always. Positive note. Positive note. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week with our final episode and our recap of everything. Yeah. Catch you then. Yeah. Yeah. Um,